What I like being in nature is this infinite cycle. You just pass in front of something, you see a plant growing, it changes colors, it changes patterns, it dies, it comes back to life again. So there's constantly new material to work with. The joy is in the observation of that. I was walking the desert and I came across a tree. I was just standing on its own. What I felt was the presence of the ancestors. That got me the idea of creating a piece that's called The Chief. It's in honor of that presence and I felt when I observed that tree. If you allow your time to just relax <laughs> and observe, it just, this is the open gate to creativity. I like to be surprised by things, by experiences. And when I go every morning, I go on my kayak or go in the woods, I change roles all the time. I never do the same thing. I love the unknown. And my work is all about that. This is how I work, this is how I create, this is how I live my life. I'm actually looking for a plant and I saw about a, a week ago here and I would like to photograph that plant. Sometimes it's just instant, you know, I just feel like I want to do a piece working with that plant because it's something very light. I feel that I can do something very ethereal and very, very light. When I surrender to my environment, to the plant, to the work that I do, it's, I get out of my head and I really start working with my heart. What I see is always beautiful. It puts me in this space that is very positive and that's what it's transposed in my work. I get excited by one specific plant and I just love the beauty of it. By looking at it, it almost gives me a story and then I start the process, I just kind of lay them one by one on my digital canvas and whatever is added to it, it's done in a process that is very visceral, it's not thought, it's just, it's purely intuitive. It's life intelligence that flow through you and express itself. It's everything. It's here right now. It's just energy that provides everything. And life intelligence is, you know, called love, grace, chi. It's just very easy for me to have access to that when I'm in nature. It puts me in that beautiful space, the same space that I try to recreate in my work. one morning walking and being in presence of these branches and I looked at them and there was just the details were so beautiful and I just wanted to bring that branch back to life. So I created a forest and then traveling to the forest were birds. I strongly believe that birds are mentors. I feel the plants and I go to my image bank. One by one, I kind of move my objects around and it starts shaping a story, it starts shaping an energy. And when I feel that energy, I 
I go with it, so I encourage it. And it has a, this very ethereal feel that puts you in a meditative space. I want the piece to have something to offer, not just something beautiful to see visually, but I want something that has an impact, a, a, a energetic impact. And this is when I know I will take the time that it takes. And there's never a piece that leaves my house that doesn't have that, that very strong energy. In my dream, I was in touch with these beautiful objects that were coming from nature and they were surrounding me. And with whatever I had in front of me, I just started to create that tree. And I call it the transmitter because trees are transmitter of stories and they're the observers. They have a lot to tell us. I'm a visual artist, but I'm also other things. I don't want to be defined as a visual artist either. I'm just a person enjoying doing that kind of work. But there's so many important components to my creation, and one of them is my relationship with people. There's a lot of movement in my work. There's a lot of movement in my life. I love to dance. I do take time almost every night to go on the dance floor and move my body. It is very important for me. It's part of my ritual. I cannot be constantly a creative machine. So I do spend a lot of time enjoying life, drinking good wine, having good friends, traveling, connecting with my family. I have times of introspection where I feel like being alone. I like to meditate sometimes, and sometimes I don't. The work that I do, it's yes, it's self-exploration because it's the expression of what, of the accumulation of, of all my experience and feelings. And so it comes very naturally without too much thinking. The fun part of working with a subject is to work that subject over and over, but with a different approach, with a different palette, with a different intention. Within that process of manipulating the matter, this is when the gate opens. This is when the life intelligence presents itself. And when you just thought that you exhausted completely your subject, if you just persist a little bit more, this is really when you have new vision. This is when you can really create work that is extraordinary. The pieces that I'm the most proud of are the work that I have done so effortlessly because it shows me that I have not only the potential but I am capable of receiving and connect with that life intelligence. And and the feeling is of that presence is what I seek every day when I sit in front of my work.